Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So real gases next. This is chapter six. There's a couple things you need to know. Some of these are concepts, some of these are, are equations. Okay? So ideal gas law is this. A real gas is anything that deviates from the ideal gas. Okay? So you got PV equals NRT. If we go PV over NRT for the ideal gas, we get a 1 here. Okay, right there, there's a 1. For real gases, when you take PV divided by NRT, you do not get the number 1. Okay, you get a number larger or smaller than that, it's just different. So this is one way, an easy check to know if you have a real gas or not. You just take PV divided by NRT, and if you get 1, you know it's, real, it's ideal. If it's not 1, it's real or non-ideal. Okay, the other things about this, for an ideal gas, another concept, we have usually high temperatures, okay, and low pressures. That means our temperatures are usually around room temperature, and our pressures are usually around atmospheric. For a real gas, that's totally the opposite, it's true. So the temperatures are usually low temperatures, cold, it gets cold, or high pressures. What happens is when the temperature goes down, the molecules attract more to each other. And when that happens, there's intermolecular attraction. That is one of the uh, assumptions. We assumed in the ideal gas there's no attraction. So whenever you add attraction to the molecules, it starts to become real gas. The same is true for the higher pressure. As the pressure gets squished, the molecules get closer and closer to each other, and there's more attraction. So thus, again, it will deviate from the ideal gas. So those are the concepts. The formula that goes uh, along with this is called the Van der Waals equation. And let me look it up. It's a hard one to remember, but... Your instructor, I definitely will, your instructor should give it to you on the exam. And uh, let me see if I have it here somewhere. Essentially, it, it looks pretty similar in a weird way. It looks similar to the ideal gas law, except there's some constants in there that you'll need to watch out for. And, uh, but those constants will need to be given in order for you to solve the problem. So let me see if I have it. If I do, I'll write it down. If not... Oh, I just found it. I'm too fast. But let's see if you have it, too. Oh, fantastic. P, I'll just write yours because you were so kind. But it's the same as mine. Okay. So here, you have P plus N squared A over V squared times V minus NB equals NRT. So in this case, keep a couple things in mind. A and B, the lowercase a and b, those are constants. Those must be given to you. N, what's N? Moles, it's not the principal quantum number. Okay, so whenever you do with gas, that's moles. P and V, that's just standard. So you're going to plug in, usually, almost always in this case, you're solving for temperature. Because that's the easiest thing for solve, to solve for in this equation. Uh, these things that are added to P and V or subtracted from V, those are just factors, assumptions that Van der Waal made to uh, make uh, approximations of real gases. There's a lot of other equations that describe a real gas. This is just one of them. Okay.